Hello everyone, I'm Andrea and in this video we test this iPhone 14 Plus to understand its strengths and sense who it could be useful for. This is the D-powered version of the Pro and it looks very much like the 13 Pro Max. The box, as always, is fantastic, simple and well kept, with its multicolor theme. I come from a 6.1 inch iPhone 12 Pro and already just holding the box of this plus gives you an idea of its imposing size. I have to say, as a first impression, how light it is. It even seems lighter than my 12 Pro, amazing, it may just be a sensation, but I expected something more demanding, probably the fact that it is aluminum allows these advantages. What I like is that on the 14, we can get the midnight color, the Batman color, which allows us to increase the collection of Apple devices, like the MacBook Air M2 and the Apple Watch with the same theme, a bit of a perfectionist tech maniacs, and on this iPhone it looks good, but its mirror effect doesn't make this color intense and also emphasizes fingerprints. Something different is its frame, and here the midnight color has all its power, just like the MacBook, giving it an elegant and valuable appearance. What's mysterious is that here you can't see fingerprints. Basically as mentioned before, it has the same design as the iPhone 13 Pro Max and if it wasn't for the lack of a lens in its camera compartment, we don't see any difference between them. In fact its size, the novelty of this 14 is 6.7 inches, which has replaced the old mini, it also retains the downsized notch of the 13, not getting the dynamic island of the 14 Pro Max. But not so much on the display, as it lacks the promotion with an adaptive refresh rate up to 120Hz and always on, and the peak brightness not of 2000 nits for the outside, like the 14 Pro Max, but only 1200 nits in HDR. This 60Hz Retina OLED display is still nice, with good colors and clear visibility. But the price is not consistent, plus, it's the same display as my 12 Pro, which is old. A higher brightness for outdoor use would also be convenient, because with this display we always have to strain our eyes a bit under direct sunlight. But despite this, it remains an excellent display, responsive, with beautiful colors and reliable. All of this is definitely thanks to its processor, even though it's the same processor as the 13 Pro Max, from last year, but still valid. In fact, the 14 Plus has no glitches, it's fast, loads apps without any difficulty or lag, in short, it runs this operating system in the best way possible and for daily use, we probably won't be able to use all its power and will probably only do it a few times. In the gaming world, it performs very well too, it's fast, the graphics are excellent, it's fluid, making the experience satisfying and captivating. It also has no big heat problems, occasionally some warming on the back, but nothing invasive. I was quite surprised by the audio component, as its speakers give a strong, clear, and well-pronounced sound. So listening to music on this iPhone is pleasant, and without too many demands, it becomes useful as a speaker to use whenever we want to listen to background music, such as when cooking, studying, or watching movies. It's also great for calls or video calls, with clear and clean voice quality. Another amazing function implemented on this iPhone 14, and not insignificantly, is the collision detection. Yes, thanks to this new function, in case of a car accident, like a strong impact against a tree, a wall, a head-on collision or anything like that, this iPhone can detect it and can call for help and notify our emergency contacts instead of us. And I think this gives a lot of points in favor of this iPhone, because we hope we never need it, but if it ever happens, well, I think this type of technology can probably save our lives, and having all this in a phone, well, I thank Apple and my money well spent. Regarding the camera department, the internal one has been improved, this year an autofocus was added which can focus on the subject even faster even in low light conditions, so that good shots and good recordings can be obtained even in 4K. Very useful for those who love taking many selfies and video calls. Regarding the internal ones, this 14 Plus does not disappoint but does not receive the Pro update. In fact, the main camera remains at 12MP compared to the Pro's 48, and an optical zoom at 2x and 5x in digital. 
Too bad for the lack of a telephoto lens, but at least on the main camera, the aperture has been increased allowing for improved photos and videos in low light conditions, these allow for good shots and good videos. What I was surprised about, however, was the new action mode, and thankfully here present, that allows you to get stabilized and fluid videos even in recordings with strong movement. In fact, we can walk and film comfortably, with a surprising result as the videos will be stabilized and we will not suffer from dizziness in its viewing. Regarding the battery, without words, it's amazing. With intensive use I was able to get to the end of the day without any problems as it held up all the activities I asked for video, photo, calls, social, and if our usage is not so intensive we can definitely reach the second day without any difficulty. Coming to conclusions, is it worth buying this iPhone 14 Plus, who is it aimed at? Well if you are looking for an iPhone with the best performance and latest technological updates, I would definitely go for the 14 Pro for the better cameras, updated processor, and 120Hz display, but this obviously at a higher price. And it should also be considered that the 13 Pro Max can still be found around with a price similar to this 14 Plus, and with its better features, better cameras and display, I would definitely go for him, but losing the action mode for video stabilizationization and crash detection. Instead, if we are willing to wait for its price to drop, it may be considered by all those who are not looking for a phone with the best performance but still want to have a big, fast phone, with a long-lasting battery that takes great photos, and has the reliability and services that Apple offers, it could definitely be a good purchase. If you don't want to spend any more money and are happy with what you already have, you're doing great. If you liked the video, leave a free like and subscribe to the channel, until next time, bye.